Good morning, happy Friday, Fit Family. Jasmine here with another edition of the Early Bird Sweat Sesh. Today we have um, a little bit of bar, a little bit of boxing. I'm gonna call it B&B. &B, and um, we're also gonna play a mix from boy bands. So it's BBB all around. Everything that you need for class is up here. Class, our workout. Okay, everything that we need for our workout is up here. Um, light hand weights. Okay, if you didn't get the memo, we're using light hand weights today because it's gonna be a lot of upper body, especially the shoulders. And we just can't, we, we don't wanna we don't want to fatigue our shoulders after the first round. Okay, so I've got two sets. I've got like a five and I've got a three. And if you have a Pilates ball or a bouncy ball or a playground ball, if you have any one of those at home, you can use it as well. Okay, we're gonna start here in like one minute. So I'll give you seconds to get your last minute setups. And yeah, we'll get this party started. Ooh. All right. Hope everyone's doing great out there. All right, so we're gonna do the usual 50 seconds of work with a little 10 minute reset. In between each round, we have eight exercises that we're gonna do three times total. Okay, so the first time it kind of goes a little fast, but by the second round and the third round, you're a pro. Okay, all right, so go ahead and get started with our three minute warm up. And if you're just joining us, my name is Jasmine. This is the early bird sweat sesh. Today we're going to do a little bit of boxing, a little bit of bar. Start with your feet nice and wide. Draw the abs in, roll the shoulders back. Take your first deep breath. Inhale up, exhale open. Not necessarily matching the beat of the music. I don't even know if you can hear my music, but we're just moving to our breath. Let's do two more. One more, starting from the top of your head. Roll it down for four, three, two. Now bend your knees a little bit. Do that two times and then roll it up. Four, three, two. One deep breath up. Let's do it again. So you're going to roll down to the bottom. Bend your knees two times. Straighten your legs, bend your knees. And then roll it up. One more. Inhale up. Exhale. Roll. Bend your knees. All right. Put your hands on the thighs. We're going side to side with this. Now, if something in your body tells you that you got to open up your stance a little bit more, go ahead. I feel like my warm up timer didn't start. Oh, no. I need that. I need that. I need that. All right. <laughs> Let's do four more. Three more. Two. And then the last one, we're gonna hold. See if you can take it down a little bit deeper into this stretch. Maybe your hands can go onto the floor. Lift up the heart, take your entire body and turn it over. Knee down, booty up. Knee down, booty up. You can flex that front foot. So you're really feeling the stretch in the calf. Now this last one, leave your knee down on the floor, release your toes, okay? We're gonna to turn to face away from the computer. And we're going to turn the face in towards the computer. So think about like a twist. Inhale, exhale. Let's do two more, each side. One more. And go ahead and curl your toes under. Take it to a plank. We're just holding it right here. Or we're going to pedal our heels. And for me, that's important because I need to wake up that calf. But we're also in plank. All right, let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Walk your hands back to your feet. Roll it up nice and slow. Take a step out. Deep breath, arms up. Exhale, roll it down. Bend your knees two times. Roll up. Inhale, arms up. Remember this combo? Roll it down. Bend your knees two times. Roll it up. Last one. Hold your body in half. Bend your knees two times. This time, put your hands on your thighs. We're going left, right, left, right. Four more. Four, three, two. Now hold it over here on the left. Go over that stretch. Maybe you can put your hands down on the ground. Take your entire body, turn it over. Bend your knee. Booty goes up. Front leg straightens. Let's do four more, friends. Four, three. Two, we gotta hit 
get that plank. Here we go. Hold it steady. Hold it strong. Let's pedal those heels one knee at a time. Kind of kisses the floor. Four, three, two, and then one. Walk your hands back to your feet. Hold it right here in this right ball position. Maybe you want to sway side to side. Feel that loosen up in the lower back. Roll it up nice and slow. And take it nice and wide. Deep breath, arms up. And then this time, we're going to go right into a little scoop action. This is called a second position plie. Now, a lot of these moves you've seen before. If you're like, I'm not taking ballet jazz, then it's okay. It's okay. Our first exercise is actually a repeat of something we did before. Cross jab, shuffle, cross jab, shuffle. Okay? 50 seconds. Let's go. So I am touching the floor as I shuffle over. The arm that's in front of me is going to punch straight out. And because we're doing a lot of movement here, a lot of up and downs, yeah, this is really going to start to fire your legs. Coming up next, we're going to need our dumbbells. And the option to use the ball in between your legs. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Get your dumbbells. If you have your ball, it's going to go right between your knees. Squeeze that ball. Start with the weights on your shoulders. And we're going to do tippy toe with a hammer curl. Keep the elbow set in. I know, it's balanced. And first thing in the morning, balances are hard. Especially if you literally just roll out of bed. Silver lining in all of this corona craziness. But I've been wearing gym clothes all day, or day. Which you're like, he tells me you work at a gym. I know, but you know, occasionally. I do put some regular clothes on. All right. For this next exercise, I'm going to lighten my load. Put the ball away. Alternating curtsies with a halo over your head. That's why I went lighter with the weights. 50 seconds. Let's go. So it's like a lunge. So if you're taking your leg way over. So it's a cross lunge or a curtsy, whatever you want to call it. And then we have the arms going up to fifth position. Or just an overhead press. I'm telling you. If you read the description and the words were a little scary, it's all moves that you've done before. We just have different names for them in bar slash ballet. <laughs> Alright, next one, you're gonna ditch the weights, okay? Make sure there's no one next to you that you might kick. We're going to alternate a jumping jack and a side kick. 50 seconds. Ooh, ready? Jack, kick. The foot is flexed. Don't worry about how high your legs go. Just go for a nice, powerful, strong kick. So even if it's down low, It still has a lot of impact. You're making a lot of damage happen to your opponent. Knee bases forward. That's a roundhouse kick. Taking it to the floor. Coming up. Get your dumbbells ready. Ready, Gabriel. Take a tricep kickback. Starting in plank. Knees or toes, doesn't matter. 
row, kick back. So you pull up and reach back. Maybe you are on your knees, it looks like this. If you need to take the table top, that's fine too. You do you, okay? This is a two part a row and a kickback. So make sure you're getting both in there. Next one coming up. If you don't have a ball, you just squeeze your arms together, okay? All right. Second position makes your legs nice and wide. We're going to do three ball squeezes. Two leg lifts. So right here, three, two, one, lift, lift. You gotta turn your body. That's an arabesque. If you don't have a ball to squeeze, press your hands together. But yeah, that's working your chest. <laughs> three, two, one, lift. Knees and toes are turned out. That's what makes it different than a regular squat. It's called a plie. You're ready because we're going down to the floor next. Ball can go in between your knees or your ankles. Just fly with a leg lock. A little bend in the knees is good. The straighter your legs are, the harder that gets, okay? But if that puts strain on your lower back, then please, then please. And it's just a traditional fly for our upper body. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Last one. We're going to do a full sit-up and two cross punches. You're allowed to use momentum here. With or without the weights. I'll show it without the weights first. You're going to do a full sit-up and then punch two times. Ready? Full sit-up, punch two times. With weights, it would be like this. Ooh, ooh. ooh, I just heard a big crumble of thunder outside my window. Remember the 
weights with this optional. You don't want them, you don't need them. Thirty seconds. You're moving at your pace. Something that's going to drive your heart rate up. Ten seconds. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three. Lift, lift. 
Three, two, one. Lift, lift. Turn your body, turn your body. Use your back muscles on that arabesque. Which means it's not a seesaw. You're not letting yourself fold at the hip. If my back wasn't turned on, it would be more like this, okay? Not what we want. And yes, I'm pointing that toe back there if you're wondering. All right. Put that all down the floor. Chest fly, leg drop. With your left ball. Open and close. Like you're giving me a hug. I don't know if you can see, but I mean, I'm really squeezing that ball. Just like clockwork. My eldest is up. We turned our dining room into the classroom so I could see it from here. And my goodness, he gets up like clockwork and he wants to get his work done immediately. Immediately. You gotta commend him for that. Alright, so when you're without your dumbbells, shuffle, jab, touch the floor, shuffle, jab. Let's go. Aim for the corners of your room. If you're on a mat, imagine like kind of using the length of your mat as your travel space. Use your legs to get down to the floor. Tiptoe. 
Actually, I don't think it means tiptoe. <laughs> I think it means to rise. But you got me, right? Whew. I'm so sweaty that ball might pick up. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know if you can hear my music, but it's NKOTV. Right stuff, baby. If you're around my age, you and I both know like the 90s were a long ass time ago. Sometimes in my head though, it still feels like it was only 10 years ago. I don't know why I think that. Ah. All right, hey little curtsies. Trading these for my lighter weights. Get that leg to cross behind you. Arms above your head. Forgot I gotta angle my body this way. So I don't step on my bar bar, my real bar.
Soften the elbows. Still squeezing in on the ball. In the past, we've done this with one leg dropping. Yeah, this is harder. For sure. But we can do it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. 15 seconds left. Sit up to jet cross. Weight's optional. You're going to use them. Go lighter, okay? Tell me why you aim. I don't know if y'all can hear it. It's back to your boys. Oh my gosh. Instinct versus back street. Hmm? If you had to choose, I'm the kids all the way, <laughs> all the way. That way, I don't have to choose. Stick with the kids. Or like the original Jackson Five, whatevs. <laughs> Done. Finish. We are finished with that one. Okay. Lay down, extend your body nice and long. I'm going to take you through a quick stretch. Quick stretch, quick stretch. Hug the knee to the chest, roll that ankle around. Take it across your body for a big old, big old rotation here. Reach that arm out, open up the chest. Flip it over, grab your shoe, your ankle, your pant leg, whatever, your foot, heel to the touch. Other side. Roll your ankle around. Take it across your body. Now usually this is where I say get out there, do a little jog, do a little run. It's raining right now, but, but, you find some time today to run 2.23 miles. Hashtag it, ride with mod, or run with mod. I don't need to explain why. I don't need to explain why. You know why. All right, run up, roll up, roll up, roll up. Real quick butterfly stretch, round your back, relax your head, relax your neck. And then roll it up nice and slow. Take it nice and wide again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, open the chest, round your back. And bring the hands to the hips. Big shoulder rolls. Do it one more time. Inhale up. Open. Round your back. Hands to your shoulders. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, and you are finished. That was B&B, &B, boxing, ballet, and another B&B and B, &B because we were playing boy band songs. Triple B? Uh, I don't know if I like that name. Have a great Friday. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.